guys, welcome to the second episode of Dana Studios. And may I just say, I am proud to be part of such an establishment. I'm Zeddy One, and I'm going to show you how to make makeup burns for a number of reasons. One, it's really cheap. Two, it's really easy. And three, it's such a versatile effect it can be used anywhere. Some cotton wool, liquid latex, fake blood, casualty makeup, and some makeup brushes. Okay, first off, you're going to want to tear up some cotton wool into different length strands. After that, you're going to either want to coat your arm or your actor's arm in Vaseline. This just stops all the hairs getting ripped off. Then take your cotton wool strand and coat the bottom in liquid latex. This just acts as a glue to glue it to your arm. Then you're going to want to start to tap it down and then coat the edges in liquid latex and help to blend them in to your skin so you get a nice even coverage of glue and it's going to stay on. It's not going to fall off. You're going to want to do this several times with lots of different pieces of cotton wool just layering up over and over and over again. Then take your makeup. You're going to be focusing on light reds, dark reds and browns. And then you're going to want to get the outsides of the cotton wool with the dark reds and the browns just to give it definitions and just to give it definition to make those cracks and crevices apparent. And then you're going to want to highlight the cotton wool with your light reds. So after you've done that, you should get a nice piece of kit looking like this where you can see the higher areas are light red and the lower areas are dark red. Now take a brush and start to paint blood all over the wound. You can just pour it on, but it tends to make it look a bit 2D and globby. It's much more precise if you just paint it on. You can also include a few splats in there to make it look a little natural. And once you've done all of that, you should be left with a really wet, sore, weepy, red, bleeding wound that looks like this. And you can see here where the detail of the dark reds and the light reds has really paid off. And the great thing about this effect is it doesn't just have to be on the arm. It can be an uh, old burn on the face. It can be a burn that's healed up. Or it can be a fresh burn that looks really sticky and hot. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you tune in next week for another episode with Tiger. Don't forget to join the forum. Send us a request if you've got one to ds.request.gmail. And comment, rate and subscribe. Till next time, adios. Hey guys, number of reasons. One, it's really cheap. Two, it's really easy. And three, it's such a best up. Best up. That's what I thought.